Lead, don't be afraid. Have you tried this tea before? No. Try it. It is to die for. Best tea ever. Oh, I'll be the judge of that. Actually, it's not that bad. I know, right? It came all this way from Brazil. Really? It's made out of I don't know, it's like the sugar they put in from this plant. Whatever it is, it's more addictive than smoking cigarettes. Oh, oh, I wouldn't say that, but it's one hell of a cup of tea. You got that right. Well, anyways, Jack, how's your grandmother? Is she still in retirement home? Well, not for long, because I don't think I'll be able to pay, off, pay her off anymore. And she can't stay at my house. Oh, come on, man. You got four bedrooms, cable TV, everything. Well, it's because my landlord has it out for me. I won't be able to pay for me and her at the same time. Oh, you got more work than I do. True. Anyways, how's your grandmother? My grandmother's dead, Jack. Yeah, right. Are you okay, Jack? You seem a little bit, well, um, you know, tired. Well, normally I'd be paying off my bills at home and getting groceries. Oh, come on, mate. I'll be like that. I didn't, I, you know, I was just, well, why don't you do something for me? Well, it's a Thursday night and you called me over here with no explanation. Oh, come on. We're friends. We'll be like that. You can't call me your friend when I haven't seen you in over a year. Why do you even have blood on your face? What's it for? Well, it's a long story. Shut up and tell me about it already. Later on when I got back from, from doing all my groceries. I heard some noises coming upstairs. When I opened up my bedroom door, there was a gun aimed at my neck. We ended up going downstairs. We thrown a uh, couple of fists at each other. I finally got the upper hand and I, um, brushed his skull. You know why all this happened between you and him, man, right? Why? Because of that robbery that you pulled off the other night with your buddies. How do you know that? I just it was a secret. Everybody knows about that robbery at the Friday night at the airport. You lost 300 grand and your boss is trying to kill you. Uh, but, but, don't, don't forget about that. But anyways, what does the story have to do with me? Come on, I'll show you the body. Alright. Oh man, it's nasty, I got burns, dumps, ew! <laughs> Only that was brain split open. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I know, that's why there's blood all over me. Oh! Well, I guess you are in a pretty nasty situation. I know, right? The worst part about it is I got two bullet holes in my bedroom wall, and then all my china collection is shattered into pieces. Well, I guess it's pretty bad. Well, I'm sorry about being an asshole to you earlier. Don't worry about it, Led. I've got my bigger problems than that. All I really want you to do is just take the dead body out of my closet, we'll bury it in the forest together, and then come back here and I'll help me clean up the mess. Yeah, I guess I'm going to do that. We have to get this done sooner or later, right? Yeah, I know that, but I'm not going to kill you. True. Come on, now, man, let's go. Alright. Man, that person probably ate a whole elf before he killed him. I know, right? I'm sorry about all the whole wasting Thursday thing and you and your. Uh, uh, don't worry about it. I was only joking about you wasting my Thursday. Actually, I was probably just going to relax, stay on the couch, and play my Xbox. <laughs> You're good, mate. You are too. Oh man, what a Thursday. <laughs>